People who got married on an if we are both still single, when we are 35 we'll get married deal. What's your story? We ended up getting married a lot sooner. He wasn't necessarily waiting around for me, but I realized I'd be devastated if he ended up with someone else and no longer had him as a constant friend in my life. Don't let the good ones get away. We've been married 13 years now and never regretted a minute of it. This isn't mine, but I saved it because it just touched me deep. So here you go, probably too late for this not to get buried, but I have a story about this. We met in college and were instant best friends. I was 20, she was 18. We spent all our time together and were briefly lovers, but we never formally dated because both of us were very much into being wild and free and enjoying our youth. We dated other people on and off, but we talked about it and agreed that a committed relationship between the two of us would be an all or nothing kind of thing. Since neither of us wanted to give up our hedonistic, promiscuous, irresponsible lifestyle, we made a point of not committing to a relationship. A few years went by that way, and we were very happy, right up until her sisters died. It was a car accident. They were 16 and 18, and both were killed in the crash. Dead on arrival at the hospital. My friend was utterly, completely devastated. It still hurts me to remember it, even now. Her father, though, was even more devastated, to the point where he was legitimately willing to let himself starve to death, rather than try to go on living. She moved home, out of state, to take care of him. She cut ties with everyone for a while, even me. I didn't see her again for two years. She was so different after that. Before the accident, she'd always been the most joyful exuberant positive person I'd ever met. After she came back, she was quieter, sadder, maybe wiser. I wanted to be there for her more than I'd ever wanted anything in the world. Not being able to fix things for her, not being able to make it better, that hurt more than anything I could ever remember. I guess that's when I realized how in love with her I was. I told her that I loved her, that I wanted to be there with her, and she told me that she couldn't handle the idea of any kind of emotional connection for a while. Maybe a few years, she said. Maybe never. Maybe she'd never be able to open up emotionally again. She said she needed space from me, particularly from me. She said she needed to figure out what it meant to be alive in a world where her sisters were gone. She asked me to give her time, and I told her that I'd give her anything she wanted. She told me that she'd never been happier than she was when we were together. I told her the same. I told her that I understood, and that's when we made our pact. I was 25 then, and she was 23. We agreed, if she turned 30, and I turned 32, and if she had learned to heal, and if she hadn't fallen in love with someone else, and if I hadn't fallen in love with someone else, then we'd get married. So that's how we parted ways. She moved to Wyoming to be alone. I moved to Germany to get as far away from her as I could. We didn't keep in touch at first, but over the next few years we built up a correspondence. We wrote letters because we both liked writing letters. We emailed now and then. Sometimes we'd mail each other books that we thought the other would like. Years went on and we became closer and closer. When I turned 30, I half jokingly brought up our marriage pact. I told her that I hadn't ever fallen for anyone else. I didn't mention this, but I couldn't have fallen for anyone else. I always compared every other woman to her and in my memory she was perfect. She replied that she was still very serious about our agreement and that she'd never fallen in love with anyone else either. I asked her if she thought she had begun to heal and she said she had as much as a person could ever heal from something like that. A year later, she told me she'd like us to meet and spend some time together to see if the spark was still there. It was. She was living in California at that time and I found a job there. I'd always wanted to live in California anyway. I proposed to her 6 months later, and she smiled, and told me no fair, that I had to wait another few months, when she'd be turning 30. I thought it was silly, but at that point things were going so well, that a few months didn't seem, like they could matter at all. But I'm crying now, so I'll have to wrap this up quickly. She died. That's how the story ends. She was hit by a drunk driver, and spent 2 days in the IQ before her body gave out. I went to her funeral. 
I spoke to her father, but I barely remember what we said. I've never spoken to him since. I don't have the willpower to make myself find out how he's doing. That will be 4 years ago this November. I'm in therapy and trying to learn how to have feelings again, other than blank mindless miserable rage. I often wonder if this is what it felt like for her. She made progress. She learned to feel again. That thought is what keeps me going. She did it. She'd want me to do it. That's it. That's the story. It's a shitty story and I hate it. I did. But we got married 10 years earlier. We met at an Ink Master finale. We immediately connected. He lived in New York, I, Florida. I went back home and we kept in touch. Made a promise if by the time we were 35 we'd marry each other. I was 25 at the time. Things intensified so much we truly believed we were meant for each other. I moved to Illinois to take care of my sick grandma three months. After meeting he flew there to visit and we got married. After a few more visits he moved there to 4 years later and we have 2 kids. Not exactly the same, but when I was 21 and he was 24 I said to my friend, if we are not married by the time you're 30 do you want to get married? He said no. Well, we started actually dating a couple months after and this year he will be 30 in May and our wedding is planned for June. Kind of. We left our spouses around the same time, not for each other, and decided to share a house. We got to taking one night and decided we each had all the things the other was looking for, plus we got along really well. We were in our mid-thirties by then and sick of the dating scene, so we just laid it out like a business arrangement. What started off as an arrangement eventually evolved into something extremely serious and passionate. We've been together now for almost 7 years and married for almost 1. We are extremely in love and I have zero regrets. My really good friend and I were joking about this in our early 20s and I got an idea how she really felt about me when she said yeah, if we are both single at 70 let's get married. Weird couple my wife knew had such a pact and followed through. Girl was a really introverted, quiet, homely type. Sweetest girl. But she never had a boyfriend as far as I knew. And we saw her off and on for 6 or 7 years. Then suddenly out of nowhere she invited us to her wedding. Anyways, it was to a guy we had met a couple of times who was one of her friends who seemed very much like her. My wife teased her that more must have been going on all that time. But she was straight up about it and said no, they just decided it was time. Conversation was something like, yeah, you know how people have pacts to get married, if neither of them are till they hit well, we just decided it really wasn't going to happen for either of us, and to cut that short. Basically we were just like, cool. And then left it at that. Anyways, she married him, they looked happy. The speeches were a bit odd, they didn't really talk about love, but a lot about how they were marrying their best friend. They are still together, it's gotta be at least 5 years, and they have a little kid. Last we saw them, they looked happy and that's all that matters really. One of my friends from high school had a deal with this with her high school boyfriend. Thus, when they turned 30, they had a baby together. Unfortunately, she was also a drug addict and ended up committing a felony, going to prison, and I'm pretty sure the kid is with him, and even though she's out of prison now she can't have her daughter with her at whatever housing she is at. Do not recommend. My partner and I were close friends for 12 years before we got married. Through many friendships and relationships with other people, including one of us following a former lover across the country and the other being briefly engaged, we stayed just friends for a very long time, on New Year's Eve in 2007 to 8, at the ripe old age of 23, we drunkenly made a pact to get married to each other, if we weren't married by 30. Long story short, we didn't start dating until we both turned 30, but we got married pretty quickly, after we started dating just celebrated five years of marriage and we have a two-year-old it's unconventional but so are we and it's ours family friends had this pact we were at her 30th and her boyfriend at the time proposed 
her best friend, with whom she had the pact, was gutted. He too had had a ring in his pocket. We know because he showed my dad. Obligatory not me but a friend. Disclaimer. She married a college friend 3 years ago at the age of 33. Their bet was to get married if they're both single at 33 and the intention was to basically prank their parents by going through with it. They intended to be married for several months and then just casually mention it and later just get it annulled. So they went to the courthouse with a pair of friends, got married and then she moved into his apartment. Thing was they'd been friends with benefits for years when they were both single and living together was so nice that they just stayed together. They're expecting their first kid in a few months 